The Australian Farm Institute is holding its Australian Agricultural Roundtable Conference in Brisbane on the 10th and 11th of November. Richard, what is the conference about? The Australian Agricultural Roundtable Conference is an opportunity to hear from a range of speakers about a range of issues that are important to Australian agriculture right now. Now the conference commences with dinner and a cooking note on the 10th. It's followed by breakfast on the 11th and four sessions afterwards. Richard, could you run through the themes of those sessions? Sure. So the conference will begin with a session that will look at investment in Australian agriculture with a focus on the range of opportunities that there are uh, to invest. Too often the discussion around investment doesn't extend beyond opportunities to buy farmland, whereas in reality people and organisations are investing in Australian agriculture in many different ways now. Sounds great. And who will be speaking? Uh, Hugh Robinson, who is a stockbroker with Bell Potter Securities. Uh, Hugh handled the public listing of Bellamy's. Uh, he's also a director with Taz Foods and Primary Opinion Limited, which is the primary shareholder in Maggie Beer Foods. The conference will then continue with a session that will explore the emerging issue of the uh, public backlash against multilateral trade agreements. We've seen in recent times with Brexit and the campaigns against the TPP that there is a growing public dissatisfaction with the sorts of trade agreements that have been the bedrock for the expansion of Australian exports into uh, many other countries over the last couple of decades. Uh, Dr Cheryl Kalish gordon will, uh, from Grain Growers Limited will speak on this issue uh, about how uh, this issue may affect the Australian grains industry. Certainly some weighty issues with big potential impacts. And what about session three? Session three will look at how digital technologies may impact the service sector in Australian agriculture. Big data and digital agriculture is a really hot issue at the moment, generating lots of discussion, with many people saying that the biggest gains for agriculture may in fact be in uh, efficiencies in the supply chain, in marketing and in the service sector. We'll have a range of speakers that will look at this uh, and whether that may in fact be the case. The conference will then conclude with a session that will explore right to farm issues. Uh, David Blackmore is a confirmed speaker in this session. David was at the heart of a uh, right to farm issue where his Wagyu operation was forced to move uh, due to opposition by neighbours. Lots of interesting topics and what could we expect from the dinner and the breakfast keynote? Uh, sure, look, I'm particularly looking forward to the breakfast keynote from Steve Marifiotto. Uh, Steve is from Sundrop Farms. Uh, Sundrop is using seawater and electric electricity generated from solar power to grow tomatoes in the South Australian desert. It's really challenging uh, what we think agriculture can be and, and where agriculture can occur. Can occur. Um, it's a really interesting project. The Australian Agricultural Round Table Conference. I encourage everyone to attend. Please visit the website on www.farminstitute.org.au to register. Thank you.